All right, guys, so we're back with Troy Morse, our Director of Program and Coach Development. Hey, Troy. How's it going? Going well, thank you. Um, so Troy here is largely responsible for what Sasquatch is today from a programming and coaching standpoint. Uh, Troy is the one that develops all of our training programs. Troy is the one that develops all of our programming. Um, so every time you see a thruster or a squat it's put in there by Troy and his team, uh, he's also, for the most part, responsible for all of the awesome equipment that you see here today. Um, and Troy has a pretty cool story to tell. So can you tell us a little bit about kind of your experience in owning and operating gyms, uh, that sort of thing? Um, yeah, so I've uh, owned gyms for going on 10 years, um, involved in strength sports uh, from some field sports to strong men to weightlifting to powerlifting. Um, and a little functional fitness-ish. So kind of uh, that's got a little hand in the pot of everything there. Yeah, absolutely. And you're, you've won quite a few medals for powerlifting and Olympic weightlifting. Oh yeah, so a few powerlifting uh, medals and a few uh, weightlifting medals and competed at the some state Masters records. World Cup. Yeah, some fun stuff there myself. Yeah, absolutely. And Troy's daughter actually, who is coached by Troy, uh, won the gold medal at Youth Nationals for Snatch, yeah, is for that snatch. right? A couple years ago, 2000, 2017, 18. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so Troy is a phenomenal athlete himself um, and also trains very high level athletes. Uh, so w would you say that plays a role in how you program for our gyms? Oh yeah, um, I think uh, fitness has to be structured a little bit. Um, and yeah. so using athletes and how an athlete would train is definitely how we kind of program with different phases and different uh, kind of micro cycles of work, which um, is going to benefit people in the long run over a long period of time. Yeah, absolutely. So, and we see very little if no injuries in the gym, right? Yeah, very little. Um, do that because uh, we're not repeating the same thing over and over and over right. again. <laughs> It's, it's varied, but purposely varied, yeah, right? Totally. Not randomly varied. Yep. Yeah, very cool. I see athletes come in all the time that just do this and either compete with or do better than a lot of people that are hyper-focusing on a particular lift or yeah, hyper-focusing on a particular modality. Um, and that's, that's a pretty powerful thing, a pretty cool thing. So a lot of people want to know uh, kind of what makes Sasquatch, our programming, our coaching so different uh, than any other mixed modality gyms. What, what would you say to that? Uh, I'm going to say that uh, we want to educate our clients and uh, get them the best that they can uh, have through having the knowledge of why they're doing it. And yeah. um, so then they have buy-in to what they're doing and they can see the long-term picture uh, to, to become better and what it's gonna to take to become better. So educating them on why we're doing certain things at certain times or um, different phases of work so they can buy in. Absolutely, and that kind of goes back to our, our first core value, right? Uh, education first. We, uh, you, you said this a number of years ago and I keep repeating it in everything that we, that we do. It's, we wanna teach them so much that they can leave, but we wanna treat them so well that they wanna stay, right? Yep, that's the coolest. Um, yeah, and that, that stuck with me because th that's what attracted me to work with you in the first place, right? Is the fact that you were so passionate about education, so passionate about passing that education along to our members, instilling that in the coaches to make sure that they had that same passion that you did, right? And if they don't have that passion, then that might not be the right coach for us, yep, right? Exactly. So uh, a question we get from a lot of people is, can anybody just show up and train at Sasquatch Strength? Yeah, totally. Um, the coaches are fully prepared with their coaches' notes to uh, take and modify the work and keep the intended stimulus for any level of person that uh, comes in the door that day for class. So um, yeah, it's uh, definitely doable for anybody of any fitness level. Yeah, and I mean, our, our from young to old, our youngest client is 11 years old. Our oldest client right now happens to be 76, uh, and he comes every morning at 6 a.m. Yeah. Uh, does push-ups with the best of them, uh, still deadlifts, still squats, still presses, still does just about everything. Um, and we, we do have to, you know, adjust things and scale things for him from time to time. But he's come a really long way in the couple of years that he's been with us. Yeah. Um, and even, I mean, the coaches, we leave it open for the coaches so they can communicate with, or the athletes can communicate with the coaches so that then we can even take 
and go one step down further the rabbit hole of any modifications or um, things we might have to adjust for the client for injuries or even their specific goals. Absolutely. I mean, Aiden came to us with a double hip replacement and a shoulder replacement. So at the beginning, of course, like pressing overhead was not something that he could do. We had to use a PVC pipe. Um, you know, squatting below parallel didn't exist for him because of his hip replacement. Now it does. And we just, you know, little by little worked his way up by, you know, like you said, working with the coaches and scaling, right? Uh, and then in terms of, you know, fitness level as well. I mean, we have clients that start with us at, you know, well over 300 pounds that, yeah. you know, want to come in here and, you know, take some pressure off their knees or, you know, maybe they have an actual weight loss goal. Uh, and like you said, we, our job, our mission really is to work with those people, especially the people that nobody else wants to work with, um, and make sure that they can start chipping away at this fitness thing, right? Yep, that's totally it. We want to work with everybody and anybody that's willing to do some work. Yeah, that's, that's a key part too that I love is they still got to be willing to do the work. We're not, <laughs> yeah. we're that, to me, that sets us apart a little bit. We're not offering a magic pill. We don't sell ourselves as a magic pill. You have to put in the work, right? We have those signs that sit all outside the facility that say nothing will work until you do. Um, and I think that's so true. Like we, we want to offer people the opportunity to have a good platform to put in the good work and some good resources, some motivation, some accountability. But if they don't put in the work, yeah, yeah there, exactly. there's nothing anybody can do, right? Yep. So one other thing that you guys might not know is Troy is actually one of the owners of Sasquatch Strength. Um, Troy, as an owner of Sasquatch, kind of, how does it feel to have Sasquatch really start to grow and really start to make an impact on, you know, the entire world, really? I don't even know how to answer that because uh, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, it's a cool ride. It's fun to see. It's fun to help build and grow everything we're doing on the backside. And um, it, it's a, a great adventure and trying to share our knowledge with uh, like-minded people. Awesome. Well, I feel the same way. Troy Morris, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>